Hi, it's Kevin. Welcome back. And the topic for today's course is slide seals. And in today's course, I'm going to discuss what they are, how to make them last, what goes wrong with them, and uh, what value they serve you on your RV. So first of all, these seals up here are typically anywhere from two to four pieces based upon how they were installed in your RV. It's All of them are typically just, just rubber that's been molded and conformed. Um, they resemble a set of lips with grips on the inside or teeth, like a shark's mouth almost. Uh, they vary in styles based on the manufacturer and the size of lip or seal they need on each slide on the RV. Uh, they basically slide on the RV body, the metal surface, and grip it on three slides. They may be screwed on as well in different areas to keep the rigidity and uh, form. And their basically purpose for you is they serve to block out things like bugs, critters, weather, moisture, dust, and debris. So let's get into a closer look by climbing up the ladder and get into these things. Meet you up there. Thanks for joining me up here at seal level. Okay, once you push the slide out out on each side, the first thing you should do after you get all set up is come out here and take a look at the seal to see if the seal really deployed correctly. If you notice back here in this section right here and right here, the seal did not fold all the way out. The seal's sitting in, so it didn't actually straighten itself out when the slide was pushed out. So I can take my finger and stick in here and actually redirect the lip on the seal so it actually comes out like that. A little uncomfortable on the finger, but it's easy to do. Usually once you get it started, the rest of it pops out. Okay, except for that one little part there. Okay, so now the seal is full extended with the lip riding against the outer edge of the slide out. Okay, the seals on this particular coach are different than some. This type of seal here comes off a roll. So when you're going to replace it or install it, you basically figure out what the dimensions are of this whole piece up, all the way across, and all the way down. They pull it off on a roll, and it basically, with those jobs I spoke about, slides on the body of the RV all the way around. Okay, it should fit tight or firm against the side of the body here and not show any gaps. I see on this top seal, there's a bit of a gap between the seal and the body of the slide out which would enable some water, debris, or dust to actually go into the coach when it's retracted. Now, when you look at a slide seal, it should be a black color, not a gray, not a brown like this. So this, this seal indicates that it's, it's dry. So we're gonna treat it today while we're up here so you understand how the seal should look when it's done. Um, sometimes when the slide is in and out and in and out over a course of years, that jaw that holds the seal onto the body will stretch out or expand and eventually the seal will start to pull loose and may totally come off the track here and be dangling loose. I had a problem with my RV where after a period of time, the slide seal jaws opened up and eventually the seal pulled loose and was dangling outside of the body and I had to try to reseat it with my hands but I realized the jaws were bent open and it wasn't going to stay on, at which time I had to have the seals replaced. In the case of my RV, I have four seal pieces, one on the bottom, one across the top, one on the side, and then one on this side over here. So if you don't keep these things lubed up, the bending back and forth is eventually going to crack them dry and they may come loose entirely, offering no protection at all from all those elements I mentioned. Now, you uh, would be cleaning these seals and lubing them once every 30 days. So let's give an example here of cleaning them up. So I'm gonna take a wet rag with clean water. I'm gonna wipe on these, make them dark, getting all the debris and dust off them. Okay, do a little bit of the top up here as well. Okay. You can see there, I've cleaned it up. And there are two seals up here on the top. You've got this top bulb seal up here, and you've got a flange or a lip seal right here. And hopefully we can zoom in and get a picture of that lip seal 
across the top of the slide out. You can see that the dirt I pulled off of that just wiping it clean. So then after the slide seal dries, after a period of time, we would get a can of clear spray silicone. This happens to be from Home Depot, brand that I use. Let's assume it's already dried off. I would simply take the can and I would spray a coat On the seal itself, it might bleed over on the body a little bit, but it's not going to hurt the paint at all. I would just spray it till it's wet and then give it a little bit of time to, to, um, to set up and then go ahead and put the slide in for the end of the day. Now, since you should do this on the three sides you can reach, which is going to be basically this side, the bottom, and the other side, you really can't reach the part of the slide topper. You can reach in about an arm's length, but that's about it. So you're going to do basically the three sides and a little bit of the, the top up here. Then you're going to do the inside as well. The inside, of, the opposite side of the seal, the upper side of the lip will go in. So on the inside, you can do three sides there. You can do the sides and you can do the tops. So what you do is push the slide on in about maybe a foot, get a stool to stand on so you can reach over the top of the slide, do your cleaning, do your spraying, and the same on the ends. That's pretty much all the maintenance you've got to do unless you spot a tear or you spot a, gray, a cracked part cut or the seal is off the edge of the body where you need to have it replaced. Let's go ahead and hop down and talk about some of the DIY stuff and other uh, nuances to slide seals. Welcome back from the top of the coach. Just a couple of final points on this um, to make. The first is the do-it-yourself slide seal maintenance and cleaning I talked about. Uh, should be done roughly 12 minutes per slide, wiping it down and then doing the spray after it dries. Uh, not, a, not real cumbersome to do as long as you got a ladder to do it with. Um, do that type of service about every 30 days period and make sure to have plenty on hand. I always keep a spare can of this in my underside of my RV. Uh, now, if you find the seal keeps coming off repeatedly and it's something that obviously can't be replaced, it's got a tear or puncture in it, you or the dealer can do that based upon how adventuresome you are. Um, if you find that it comes off in one area like the top, another option is you can use a self-tapping screw and a washer, drill through the metal, through the seal, and you can reattach it back on at the end to keep the ends from fraying off. Now, you gotta be very careful and cautious about the length of screw you use because it also, it can damage the end of the slide outs. So, replacing these slide seals is possible doing the sides if it's separate pieces. But in the case of this coach that has basically two pieces, one that goes up, across, down the other side, is nearly impossible without actually removing the slide topper as well. And that's a whole other animal and a whole other video we haven't done yet. So it's much more complex. Also, the seal at the bottom can be complex based upon the type of configuration on your slide outs. So if you're ordering new seals, you order them by type and you pay by the foot, they come off a roll. So in conclusion, we talked about slide seals, what they are, the value they serve you by keeping the pests, the bugs, the dust and debris out of your RV. Also the heat and temperature from in or out of your RV. Uh, the usage of these, they get a lot of heavy use. Every time the slide goes in and out and in and out, it wears those slide seals. And lastly, how to do self-maintenance. So until next time, take care of those slide seals, and we'll see you back here if you watch plenty more courses in the advanced section of E3RVing. Take care.